Fulcher over coach here, welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. As always, we'll be heading over to Manchester where Martin Logan is standing by and he's some more great stories to bring us featuring Irish people all over the UK. But this week, we are at the other side of the world. We are actually in Malaysia, in Penang in particular, for the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's going to be a day of fun, of music, of crack, and we're going to bring you a bit of Asia Irish style. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Scottish and uh, we lived in New Zealand and now we're here in Penang. Yeah. And uh, you're all dressed up for the occasion for the parade today, what are you going to do? Yes, we're in a parade and we're doing a fun run, a five kilometre family fun run and they've got loads of celebrations and activities for the kids and it's just a really fabulous day. Yeah. I believe it's your first time at the parade. Yes it is and we're really excited to take part and um, we've heard amazing things, we've been celebrating for many many years here so we're delighted to be here. <laughs> So are the children looking forward to it? Very much so. Hey! Yeah. Can forward to it? Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's not too hot to do the fun one, is it? Oh, I don't want to do it. I'd rather go and have some beer. But you can do that afterwards. Yep, yeah, I'll do, do definitely have a few Guinnesses afterwards. And would you know much about the St. Patrick's Day parades over the years? Would you? Just as uh, we know that he's a patron saint of Ireland and uh, we know the Irish like to celebrate every year on his death. <laughs> All right, look, we'll have a great day anyway today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Now we've got about 30 groups from across the island, different international schools. We've got two marching bands um, and just different sports groups and international groups. And there's a lot of colour in the parade as well. I see dragons and there's all sorts of characters. Yes, we've got all sorts of different floats. We've got puppets, a lot of children involved, so lots of bright colours today. Um, yeah, it should be a good day. And a lot of international people, of course, it's multicultural, so a lot of multicultural people getting involved in the parade. Yes, we've got a French society, German society, Malaysian society all joining us today. Um, and we've got groups coming from all over. Yes. And uh, I suppose a lot of work on is preparing for the parade today. Oh gosh, yes, months in advance, months in advance, especially with the schools, because you've got to get the little ones, you know, they all make things for today and get really excited about dressing up. Yeah. Yes. A lot of them would be, would they know about St. Patrick's Day Parade? They look forward to it, yeah? Well, they, they know because of the festival, um, yes. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big learning event. Yeah. Yeah. I see some wonderful Irish dancers as well. Yes, they're from Singapore. They're fantastic, especially the little ones. Oh, they're lovely in the wee dresses. <laughs> so your role is to get them on the way here, is it? Get set up yes. already and make sure they all go into line. Yes, it's it's actually quite a big job to get them all in the right order so that the compare um, up the top of the promenade can see them coming. And, yes. do, and do they have the dignitaries at the review and stand there as well? Yes, um, we've got the ambassador from KL here today, um, and I'm, yeah. Okay, and a few <laughs> a other few guests, others, local yeah. guests, dignitaries as well. Yes, we All do. Right, I know you're about ready to start, so I'm going to let you get back to your work.
from France and it's the second time for me to uh, to be here and it's just wonderful. Um, do you enjoy the parade? Uh, yes, yes. It's so fun, wonderful parade, wonderful uh, night. We will see after with dancing, with Irish dance. It was very fun. And you've got your French flag yes, with you French as well. Flag. Yes, and you know, World Cup. Yeah. Oh, wow. yes. <laughs> well, enjoy the parade. Thank you so much. Thank you. And this is uh, St. John's Alumni Pipe Band. Uh, we are from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Uh, we came from the capital earlier this morning uh, to perform for this event, which is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, we are very excited and this would be our fifth year performing at Penang. And you do a lot of uh, performances as a pipe band? Uh, I would say uh, yes, uh, weekly. Uh, we play events such as St. Patrick's and other associations that require a pipe band. And we also play weddings and other corporate events as well. Okay, and are pipe bands popular in Malaysia? Uh, I would say yes. Uh, well, previously, back in the early days, uh, in 2000s, uh, there weren't much pipe band. But now, uh, we can see a lot of traditional scenes going on. And uh, especially on uh, Irish and Scottish music as well, aside from the pipe bands, there's also uh, bars that conduct regular sessions, uh, such as uh, Irish traditional music. Yeah. So, yeah. And is it Irish music you're playing in the parade today? Uh, yes. Uh, well, probably some, some Scottish music, but uh, I would say uh, Scottish, Irish neighbours, <laughs> families, yeah? Yeah, the Celtics. Uh, Celtics, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mm. We're looking to enjoy the parade anyway, and it's lovely to see you here. You have a long journey, it's a four hour drive from yeah. Kuala Lumpur. Uh, it was, is totally worth it. Uh, we enjoy every minute of it, and um, uh, we hope to be playing again uh, in the next St. Patrick's or any uh, Irish event. Now, you are? The Mount Miriam Cancer Hospital. I'm Joan, the CEO. Yeah, it's so wonderful to be part of the Penang Irish Association. They've been such a wonderful supporters with us. Even though they're from Irish, uh, Ireland, they are contributing to our needy fund, which is for the local community. So they're very much part of our heart and family. So that's why we're here today to celebrate with all of you, because this is all about family. We celebrate together. Yeah. Well, enjoy the day. <laughs> Thank you. This is the team, all of us, and for so many years. We are all from St. Christopher's International Primary School. Um, we've been practicing at lunch times. We've got years three to six, so age seven to 11. They've been working really hard. They love performing, and they're really looking forward to performing a couple of Irish classics today. Great. And would many of them know about Ireland? Because they're so international, uh, so diverse I don't kids. believe we've got anyone Irish with us, so you'll have to bear with us. If it's not an authentic Irish performance, it's our own interpretation yeah. of uh, the two songs. And you teach them a little bit about Ireland St. Patrick's Day Parade? Well, we did try and learn a little bit about it and the importance of St. Patrick and Green and everything as well. So. And uh, they enjoyed the parade? They did very much enjoy the parade and the waving felt like royalty. Yeah. Okay. And what are you going to perform? We're going to be doing Danny Boy and the Rattling Bog. Hi ho, the Rattling Bog, the Bog down in the valley, oh. Hi ho, the Rattling Bog, the Bog down part of the German society here in Penang. Yes, right. We are representing today the Malaysian German society. It's a well-established society here at Penang nearly since 50 years already. Wow. And our main target is, our main yeah, duty is to facilitate the working and the living together of the Malaysian and Germans here at Penang. Lovely. And um, you have your big festival, your own big festival every year. Every year, yes. Uh, actually, twice every year. Uh, there's a uh, My Ball to, uh, and then the Oktoberfest. Yeah. Yes. And is the Oktoberfest a big one? Is this biggest in Patrick's Day? It's the biggest in Southeast Asia. We are celebrating. Uh, we are having a big tent, so it's an outdoor thing. Very genuine uh, to the Munich one. 
um, and we're drawing on two days about 2,500 to 3,000 visitors each year. Yeah, and are there are lots of Germans living in Penyang. Actually, we really do not know the numbers, but there are estimations of, uh, of about between 100 and 150 families. So we have a few uh, companies, German companies, uh, which bring a lot of expats here, and some people are also retiring here. I love the car you had in the parade. Oh yeah, that's not a real vintage car <laughs> because uh, I, <laughs> yeah, our real vintage is um, um, a bit. Um, Broken. Broken. <laughs> we have to have bring a spare part in from England, actually. It's an MGA. <laughs> well, it was nice to have it in the parade anyway, and promoting yeah, it's, German, it's, it's uh, really Malaysian bad. culture as well. And Irish culture, and let's not forget yeah. the Irish culture as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, we societies try to support each other. So we have a French association, we have the Irish, we have this German society. And um, yeah, so I mean, we we are living not at home. We are all abroad, and so the expert community is quite um, supportive here. We're looking to enjoy the parade anyway, and that beautiful vintage car, and, um, and of course, uh, good luck with your Oktoberfest as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alles Gute zum Podcast Day. <laughs>
so um, we've been preparing for a number of weeks and they actually absolutely loved it. Yeah. And they're from all different countries, aren't they, they all the indeed. kids? Yes, yeah, we had some from Malaysia, um, Indonesia, China, Japan, Singapore, um, England, Ireland, so quite a diverse group. Yeah. And um, you have to, you know, do they ask you questions about the Irish dance and about uh, Irish culture and that? They do, they think oh, they're going to be all doing river dance. That's a bit down the road yet, so it is. But um, yeah, they love the sound, the music, and it's amazing um, how quickly they get to the beat and they know they can listen for the sound and they want to count. And you'll watch and they're ready to go and the footwork, they have it all out. So no problem And, and are some dances harder for them than other ones? Well, we just kept it kind of simple to a reel and that. But I'd imagine they all have an ear for music. They all have music in their own different cultures. So it, it goes across the board and they learned music in school and they do a lot of drama. So they're used to doing a lot of movement and, and that kind of thing. Yeah. And of course, there's a great Irish community here in Penang, isn't there? Is. There is. a very strong Irish community. There aren't that many uh, Irish families in the school we're in, but uh, we're in a Healy Max Irish pub and you're like, there's lots of green here today. <laughs> <laughs> and um, would you do other performances now throughout the year, like say school concerts that with the Irish dancing? Yes, we do. Yeah, They have school assemblies and, and um, they do a units of inquiry where they learn different cultures. So we're only too happy to show what we Irish can do. Um, so we put together some Irish music maybe and the Irish dancers and it, it goes down a treat. Well they were absolutely fantastic today, you must be very proud of them. I am and their parents were, they were absolutely delighted. All the parents were out videoing it, grandparents and it's great to see. So hopefully in years to come they look back and they really enjoy being Irish for a day. Okay, so here in Healy Max in Penang, um, Great Irish turnout today. We were at the ball last night in the e o Hotel. A great turnout there as well. Different Irish people from different affiliations for Penang. Having a great time here. It's mighty to see so many turn out. And it's great to see Irish, especially in Penang, um, so many friendly faces about the place. And you're flying the flag for Mayo, I see. Um, yeah, I have the Mayo ribbon here. I thought there was a game on this evening, but I got my dates wrong. So yeah, I have it. Mayo, Mayo is in my heart, so yeah. You want to say hello to anybody back home? Just to say hello to everyone in Brafey, uh, back home, uh, Castle Bar, County Mayo. Yeah. My name is Milan. I'm from Bangladesh, but I am working Irish company three years. Uh, this is best bar on the world. Very good, real Irish beer, Guinness, Kilkenny, and good food. So many people enjoy here. I'm also very happy to work with this company. This really good bar. And you dressed for the occasion today as well. Well, today is a St. Patrick's Day. I just enjoy and just celebrate here. It's really, really, I'm very enjoy today, St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And uh, are there a lot of Irish people here today. Yeah. yeah, actually, this is real Irish bar. Today is a lot of Irish people, but every day here come a lot of Irish. Slansha. <laughs> Maggie, uh, this is your seventh annual parade. And so many participants and a lot of people say travel from lots of places to be here to participate. Yes, we the Irish dancers who came in from Singapore to be at the ball last night and performed exhibition here in the foyer in Straits Key today. We I had two of my nieces flew in, one from Athens, one from Ireland. We had all the people who came up from KL, we had Healy Max who are our partners. Uh, he kept brought two tables to the ball last night and his whole crew here in Penang today. Then a lot of people come in from the northern region because we were up here in the northern region. So people would come from all around the region to come today as very much a community event. As you see it, we had all the international schools here. We had the German society. We had Orleans Francais. We had the uh, we had the Danes with the Vikings and uh, all the young kids, and, uh, which were performed really fantastic. This year, our theme was very simple. It was just celebrate and celebrate all that we have achieved because it was our 20th anniversary of having our St. Patrick's Ball in Penang. While it's only our seventh festival, we started uh, in 2014 running a four day festival and we've done it now for seven years and uh, we have various activities which we look after. There's something from everyone, the whole family. And it doesn't matter who you are, whether German, French, or you're local, everybody joins in and comes out today and goes green and wants to be Irish on the day. 
Uh, the festival runs from the 5th to the 8th. What are the other big events that uh, happened throughout those two few days? Okay, we started on Thursday night. We had um, Greg Trainer, who's Elvis all the way from Ireland, and he rocked the house for us on Thursday night. On Friday, we had our St. Patrick's Ball at the Eastern Oriental Hotel. It was a black tie event. It was full house, and we had an amazing night. We had entertainment all through dinner. We had a traditional drum band and the dancers from Singapore, and then we finished the night rocking with Elvis again. And today we started, we opened, we have an exhibition, cultural, business, and historical, and mapping out the Irish footprint in Penang, dating back to the late 1700s. And that's in Straits Key, and people are out there reading it. It's very educational. And people like Ireland, they like Irish people, so they want to know what's going on, and they, were probably very influenced here by all the non the Christian brothers and nuns who they were all educated by. So this is why we have a good following with the local people. And then tomorrow it's really our exhibition. Uh, we showcase our book, The Bridge, that we published in 2014, which maps out the Irish footprint here and it's called uh, Penang and Ireland, Friends for Generations. So it was a busy, busy few days in that. A lot of organizing, a great commission, I know, that helped you in that, uh, and planning for months. And uh, oh, yeah. would you would you have been very disappointed if it hadn't gone ahead today? I would have been seriously disappointed and everybody else because, and I feel sorry for the other people because you've already spent the money like I would have pay, paid everybody, like the band who traveled from KL. You have people's flights. Uh, uh, the Irish dancers are from Singapore. They were flans. flights did get cancelled by AirAsia, but they rerouted them on another flight. So you're not just spending money today. You've been spending money for the last three or four months. And if you had to cancel, well, you lose it all. There's no way of getting it uh, back. And you can't kind of say, I'm postponing St. Patrick's to October because it doesn't really gel. You have to have it. But one of the reasons, and we're lucky, because we always do it a week earlier, because it's KL next week, and if we want the Irish ambassador to come and attend to us, we always have to do it a week early. So maybe that's a lucky thing for us this year. Say it.